Hi guys, my name is Marty from letsbuildwp.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress more than once on the same domain name. Okay, so just before we begin, if you don't already know how to install WordPress on your own domain name, you can just click the link that's on screen now to be brought to a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how. Then once you've already installed WordPress on your domain name the first time, this is how you're going to install it the second time. So you just want to start in your control panel and we scroll down to find software forward slash services and then click quick install. Then on the left hand side just click WordPress and on the right hand side click install WordPress. Then you're just going to choose your domain name from this drop down. And then on the right hand side, you're going to type something into this box. So normally you leave this box blank when you're installing WordPress. But when you're going to install it a second time, this is when you type something into this box. So if we just open up martysblog.com in a new window, which is the domain name we're using, we can see here that I have a demo blog set up on this domain. If you look up at the top in the URL bar, you'll see martysblog.com. If we just go back to the quick install page, you'll see here martysblog.com. Now if I type something into this box on the right hand side, say I type example in here, then we're just going to enter our email address and our blog title, then our admin user our first name and our last name. So these are just the same steps you would normally follow when installing WordPress. The only thing that's different is that we've typed something into this box. Once you've done that, just click underneath where it says install WordPress. Then we can close this and we just need to wait for our install to finish. Once it's installed, we can just click here where it says view credentials and you'll see here my admin area link is martysblog.com forward slash example forward slash wp hyphen admin. So normally it would just be martysblog.com forward slash wp hyphen admin. But now we have the word example in between. So I'm just going to log in here. And then if I visit the site, you'll see that this is a brand new WordPress install on martysblog.com forward slash example. Then in the other window, we still have martysblog.com. And if we refresh the page, it's still exactly the same. So the only difference is it has forward slash example on the new one. We can literally do this as many times as we like and install WordPress again and again and just keep changing the word after our domain name. So that's how you install WordPress more than once on the same domain name. I hope you find this video useful and if you have, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more WordPress tutorials just like this one. Once again, my name's Marty from letsbuildwp.com and thank you very much for watching my video.